Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Michelle, how are you today? I'm great, how are you? I'm so excited that I have LaToya Drake with me today so we can discuss travel and prices. Let's get going, LaToya. Tell me about travel and prices. So, you know, one thing that we know as people start to think about how can I get away, we're into spring break, a lot of us are thinking about what can we do for Memorial Day and beyond. The two questions that people ask themselves is what's the best price and when is the best time to book? If you are in that camp, there are some new things, some new features within some of our Google products that might be helpful. If you are figuring out where can I go for spring break, for instance, here's one feature that might be helpful for you. You might say to yourself, I have, you know, 150 bucks to spend on a flight round trip. If you go into Google Flights, you can do, uh, you can find exactly that information. You might say, hey, I have $150 to spend. It will then give you a list of places that you can go for that price point, which is incredibly helpful because then you don't have to break the bank, you don't have to go under your budget, and then you might discover some place to go that might not have been on your radar. Let's talk about going abroad then. What about that? Sure, if you are going out of the country, that same feature will work for you, uh, depending on how much you have to spend or how much you want to spend. But once you get there, there's nothing worse than feeling uncomfortable or feeling like, I, I don't know how to get around. It's not really feeling easy. There are, some, again, some other tools that might be helpful, some different hacks that people might find uh, really helpful. One is Translate. Now, you know, many of us don't know the language where we're going. If you have a phone, uh, you have a translator in your pocket. If you are looking at a menu, you, you are looking at street signs, you can hold, hold your phone up to that, those words and get them in the language that you speak. You can also use this to speak into your phone. Let's say you're, you're in, a, in a taxi and you don't know how to tell the driver where to take you. You can simply speak into the phone in your language and it will then translate you uh, for the person who you're trying to communicate with. So these are really easy things to really make you feel comfortable after you've left the country and you're really exploring a new destination. Oh, I adore that. Okay, what about being local? For sure. Here's one of my favorite things whenever I travel. For me, it's not about being a tourist. It is all about being a local. Uh, and one way to do that is to really talk to the locals. Uh, if you don't know someone who lives in that area, you are probably familiar with Google Maps. Maps is not just about getting from point A to point B anymore. There's lots of information in there that, one, gives you the places that locals are eating. Uh, where are some of the places that they're spending their time having fun, listening to live music? These are the types of local guides that you can find. And again, these local guides are really coming from people who live in the market. And it, it ta it's taking some of that homework and some of that guesswork away from you so that, again, you can really live like a local uh, and not like a tourist. I want you, my audience, to know that Latoya Drake is a founding member of News Labs at Google. She comes well qualified to give us this information. Okay, Latoya, what about last minute giveaways? Everybody's not a planner like you. <laughs> you may not be a planner like me, but if you are doing something last minute, hopefully you have some friends or family who are going with you. Uh, and where it gets tricky is figuring out exactly what to do. Uh, if you've got some general ideas and you're doing this at the last minute, be it what hotel should we stay at, where, where should we eat, where should we go, it's easy to put those lists together. Uh, we talked about maps early, but the new thing there is letting people actually vote on them so that you're not spending as much time on the phone, texting back and forth, sending emails with your friends and family. If this is truly last minute, you can really quickly put together an itinerary that anyone can, uh, anyone can use, anyone can vote on. And we're taking some of that stress out of traveling and hopefully you can get to your destination quickly and really enjoy being there. And last, how do we let Google uh, service us? I mean, really service us for restaurants and, and, and locations that we want to go to? How do we make that work? Here's some, some really interesting and new things. As you know, Google is a technology company, and we're always thinking about ways to use our technology to make our lives really easy. There are some features that you can do or, or that you can use. There's one we announced called Duplex, and here's a fun one. This is one that actually will make the calls for you and can make the reservations for you. Uh, so you're not spending a ton of time on the phone uh, making those reservations or staying on hold. It will make those reservations. It will then put them on your calendar. Again, having things on your calendar 
a great way to share them with friends and family if they are traveling with you. But it is really about how can we take things like machine learning, which sound kind of far away and mystical, but really make them something that we apply to our everyday lives. And for and for some cases, that comes down to something as easy as booking a restaurant reservation uh, if you are going abroad and maybe you know or, or traveling throughout the U.S. and and want to free yourself up from having to do all the logistical and planning details. Real quick, uh, this Facebook post they say as a Google, Google trend and uh, uh, expert, how do you make Google work in your everyday travel life? Oh, how do I make it work in my life? Well, Google is threaded throughout everything for me. I will tell you this. It's where I start when I'm trying to figure out where to go. This is a real fact. I want to go visit one of my best friends in Chicago right now, and the, the place that I start, and I'm not making this up, I want to know how much that flight ticket is going to cost. Should I go on a Tuesday? Should I go on a Saturday? What's going to be the best and cheapest date for me to fly out? So this is actually threaded throughout my life. These are things that I use, not just things that I, I, I talk about. All right, and where would you like to send them online? Because obviously my Facebook audience also has questions. A great place to start, and there's lots of data that you can certainly take a look at if you search for Google Trends, but Google Flights is the best first step uh, for, for planning your, your spring break travel and beyond. Latoya Drake, I usually think I have the best job on the planet, but I think you're pretty much encroaching on that title. Thank you so much for always being a guest on the Velma Reedy Show. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.